Hello everyone, and for day, today's video I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different than my uh, normal videos. Uh, I'm going to be talking about fashion, <laughs> fashion and uh, just preference, so I'm not uh, anyway a fashion expert, that's just my opinion. And um, I base my wardrobe off Twilight, so take what I say with a grain of salt. Um, <laughs> And I'm going to be talking about a French designer, uh, Thierry, I am so sorry if I pronounced his name wrong, Thierry Mugler, and uh, he's a French designer and he did a lot of work in the early 90s, late 90s. I feel like his works are kind of making a comeback, that's why I'm making this video. <laughs> Born in Strasbourg, France, Mugler is the genius behind the label of the same name. Studying as a designer and creating clothing for friends at the same time, he received his first job in Paris as a window dresser, and by 1975 had established his own label for women, which was followed by men's clothing a few years later. And it's very like Hunger Games, uh, futuristic, over the top, gaudy. Uh, type of style. He based it off of Bugs in film noir, um, very exaggerated hips and uh, shoulders. I believe he kind of brought drag a little bit into women's fashion and he didn't do a lot of, uh, no, uh, in my research I didn't see if he did a lot of right to wear, which basically means um, you wouldn't want to wear this stuff to Publix to get a pub sandwich, even though I would. <laughs> if I had uh, the money, I would totally walk some, uh, work some of his stuff <laughs> his grocery shopping. Insect women and crop bearing for his first stab at the art of custom made tailoring. His ultra curvy hourglass suits, topped seamed stockings and stiletto heels, and the sequin butterfly tapestry of a slinky sheath painted on Jerry Hall, or the sadomasochistic version of the evening gown in latex marked the show. And he worked with a lot of solid colors too, and I, I believe uh, it's always been his style has kind of been in the background because a lot of pop stars have worn his garments but I feel like uh, like with stars like Lil Nas X and Zendaya wore like a similar breastplate that he designed I feel like it's like coming back his style and he did a lot of cr like crazy over-the-top runways um, and he is openly gay Muscular men in sequin G-strings and combat boots writhed to pounding tom-toms. Supermodels strutted in power suits, copper lingerie, and moulin rouge outfits with tassels. And uh, he hasn't done much in, in the fashion world. Uh, there you move, because I believe he's now like a bodybuilder or something like that. <laughs> so he's just an interesting dude all, all around. And like I said, some like pop stars and celebrities like Zendaya, Lil Nas X, I feel like he totally would rock some of that. His garments and Cardi B wore the brief of Venus to the Grammys. Uh, I don't know which Grammys, but it was fairly recent. Miley Cyrus, Dua Lupa, and even uh, the main artist for Sailor Moon uh, was inspired by um, some of his works in his collection. And I am like totally about like, you know, eat the rich, um, you know, uh, why, but you know, if I was a rich person, like why spend $200 on something that looks basic than, you know, something that's kind of like extravagant extrag i can speak <laughs> you know but yeah it's very like campy um like it's very like the fifth element too um and i just like um i feel like fashion um is like an art medium and i'm not saying like it all has to be like over the top and stuff but if i you can feel like his dedication that he put into his outfits and it's well thought out um and he put the effort into it and it's very unique and that's what i like too um he put his like thumbprint on like a fashion line um <laughs> and yeah that's like i just wanted to talk talk about because i noticed um a lot of like pop stars and celebrities have been like inspired and in, like wearing his stuff and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and I'm not much of a fashion person but this piqued my interest. <laughs> and it's a very short video uh, today, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, and if you guys have favorite designers you can put them down below. <laughs> 
and I hope everyone's having a lovely day, and thank you for watching, and I appreciate all of the kind comments in my comment section.